At the college I'm going to right now, you can only have knives that are two inches in length because, of course, it's the size of the knife that determines how safe it is. Not the person using it, obviously, but we'll make do with it. Alright guys, this is actually my first weekend home from college, and I figured I might as well make a knife. So I traced out a template of a small dagger that I designed on an old planer blade, and chopped it out with my angle grinder. Then we'll take it over to the belt sander and clean up the profile. And I'm using a 40 grit belt because that's going to take off material a lot quicker than a 120 grit belt. However, it is going to leave a rougher finish, but that doesn't matter at this point. Now when we're grinding the bevels, you're essentially grinding two knives worth of bevels with a dagger because it's a double-sided blade. And when I grind, I start off real slow towards the plunge line so I can get a nice straight and thick plunge line and then even it up on the rest of the blade. And I'll use the flat, I think it's called the platen, at first, and then to even everything up, I'll use the slack part of the belt because that's a lot less stiff. And to be honest with you guys, I really didn't think it was going to be as hard as it actually was because I wanted the bevels to meet up in the middle, so everything had to be pretty even. And it turned out all right in the end, but hey, practice is practice. Now, I wasn't really going to do anything fancy with this knife, I figured I might as well try and heat treat it, so I heated it up until I thought it was about red hot, which it actually wasn't, and then I quenched it because I figured, nah, screw it, it'll just be a letter opener. But surprisingly, it hardened up pretty nicely, and you'll hear that in the next clip. And before I temper it, I like to grind off some of the scale so I can see the color of the metal. And I put this blade in a toaster oven at 400 degrees for two hours. Next, I'm just going to remove all the scale from the knife so it's nice and shiny, and then we'll move on to hand sanding. Now I don't have it set up in any sort of fancy rig, I just clamped it down on a thin piece of 2x4 and then I wet it with some water. You can also use WD-40, but I didn't have any at the time. And I used this little grinding bar that I made. I ground a flat part in the middle. That way it'll conform to the flat part of the blade. And if you're wondering why we hand sand, it's because it makes all the scratch marks run parallel with the blade, and it makes it look more professional, and it makes it look better in the end. And I started out with 40, and then worked my way up to 220. And we got a pretty decent finish on it. For the handle I'm using this small cut off of cherry and first I'm just rounding it up and chewing it up with a lathe and then I'll grind it down to about a quarter inch in diameter and once it's at that size I'm gonna put some curves in there to make it look nice and fit well in my hand. Next, I put these little grooves in the handle, and I kind of wanted to imitate like a leather wrap that you might see on some old daggers. And it also provides some grip to it, mainly did it for looks, and it turned out alright in the end. Then I cleaned off that little stub from the lathe with a nice sharp chisel. And I figured to make it easier on myself, I could round out the tang so it was in the shape of a circle. That way I didn't have to make a square hole in the handle. I could just drill a simple hole in the handle. So that's what I did. Now I really wanted a nice and fancy finger guard. So I took some angle iron, drilled a hole through it, and then started shaping it as you'll see in the next couple clips but I really didn't like how it turned out in the end, so I'm not gonna go too into depth with how I made it, but 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Now the glue up was pretty simple, as usual I used some two part epoxy and once it's all stirred up I'll pour some in the hole with the handle and then I use the tang to push it farther in the hole that way there's not just glue at the top. And I inserted the blade through the finger guard and then put the blade into the handle and clamped it up. After the glue was set, I brought out the grain with some olive oil with a handle, and it looked alright, but it really wasn't anything to write home about. I think the grooves might have taken away from the grain structure and how it looked, but in the end, I mean, it was practice, and that's really all I need right now. And as I said earlier, I didn't like how the finger guard turned out, so I chopped it off and sanded it back up. So thank you guys for watching, stay tuned to see some nice pictures, and I'll see you in my next video.